we are now ready to get started on the pre-engineered metal building drawing part two. Again, the same objectives as we talked about the first time. In this part, you should have already created your folder and your drawing. We're gonna continue with the part one drawing as you have it named. That will be fine, just continue on with it. You're gonna use proper AutoCAD drawing standards, layers, line types, notes, dimensioning. Again, you should already have your grid lines and your section marks that we've already done on your drawing. And so again, what we're going to do in this part is we're gonna develop the rigid frame cross section. We're gonna develop an enlarged partial rigid frame section of the west wall of your PEMB. We're gonna to refer to figure 1111 on page 135 as an example, but use the information that's given in your part one of the assignment. We're gonna develop an enlarged footing detail. You'll need to include a blow up detail of your eave strut connection similar to figure 11.26 on page 145. Now, what we are gonna do, all of these enlarged details are going to come from our rigid frame section. We're only going to draw each part one time and then we will use our viewports to set them up into different scales and have different notes and dimensions on the appropriate drawings. I'm going to walk you through this. This will be very similar to what we did for the base plate detail. In addition to the original information provided, here are some more items that you will need to know. The roof slope is to be 1 to 12. The wall girt is to be 5 inches wide and centered in the wall height. The wall sheeting is to be 2 inches thick. The eave strut is to be 8 inches high. The purlins are to be 8 inches tall and at 3 foot 0 inches on center maximum. The roof sheeting is to be 1 and a half inches thick. Draw the gutter rectangular at 7 inches by 7 inches. After completing the section, you'll need to determine if you can get all drawings on one layout sheet or if you will need to create a new sheet. You will have the drawings from part one along with additional drawings in part two. Create a new viewport for the rigid frame building section at one quarter inch equals a foot. Create a new viewport for the partial rigid frame section at three quarters inch equals a foot. Create a new viewport for the enlarged detail of the eave strut connection at one and a half inches equals one foot. For the eave strut detail, your bolts should be called out as one half inch diameter by one and a quarter inch length. Other notes do similarly to the detail on page 145. Create a new viewport for the enlarged footing detail at one inch equals a foot. And once you have the sheet set up correctly, add a title with scale for each drawing. This should be done in paper space and placed appropriately with each drawing, similar to what you did in part one. Your final drawing should all be on one or two sheets in the layout tabs in your AutoCAD drawing. Your final drawing should all be on one or two sheet in the layout tabs in your AutoCAD drawing. You should have the viewports listed above in your paper space. Make sure you update the title block or title blocks as needed. Again, be sure to dimension all drawings correctly. Be sure to include key and general notes as required. Be sure to include a north arrow, which you should already have from the previous assignment. After you believe you have finished the drawing, use the rubric to verify that you have done everything required. For rubric for part one, see part one assignment. When complete, print a PDF of your print sheet or sheets. Make sure the AutoCAD drawing and PDF drawings are named correctly and saved in your OneDrive folder. Again, I'm not gonna search for your drawings. I shouldn't, again, even have to go look at your drawings in your OneDrive if you've attached everything correctly to the assignment. After I've graded the assignment, you'll be able to make corrections and resubmit for half of the points back as long as you make all the corrections. Use the Submit Assignment button in the upper right-hand corner of the Pre-Engineered Metal Building Drawing Part 2 assignment. Be sure to attach the PDF drawing and the AutoCAD drawings. Again, we have the details, so let's get started. We are now ready to start Part 2 of our PEMB Metal Building Drawing. 